Team Marine is a group of students from Santa Monica High School. One problem that caught our eye were the effects that plastic bags have on the ocean. Living in a beach community that Santa Monica is, we were very aware of all the trash in the streets, in the ocean, and also the storm drains because not only do we get the litter that we create, but we also get everyone else's litter because it's all channeling into the ocean. There are multiple problems with plastic bags because while they may seem convenient, the production uses a lot of petroleum and uses a lot of energy, which is fossil fuel based and it affects global warming. Annually, six billion plastic bags are made in Los Angeles County and less than 5% are recycled. The petroleum used to make 14 plastic bags can drive a car one mile. How much um, resources we use just to make these simple plastic bags that are a one-time use only is really not worth it. Most plastic bag ends in the ocean and it kills about 100,000 marine animals each year and close to a billion seabirds each year. What happens is they turn into small bits and go into the ocean and different sea animals uh, mistake it for food and then it ends up in their stomach and sadly they die. Most of what Team Marine did was community outreach so we went in the community to educate others. We've done everything from participating in beach cleanups, to actually hosting our own marches against plastic bags, to testifying at city council, to creating a video for others to watch and posting on YouTube, to going to schools and doing lesson plans, and also going to grocery stores and asking them, are you environmentally friendly? We're here at the Santa Monica storm drain. Evelina and I decided to go down to the storm drain. Look at this shameful presence, people. Shameful. Oh God, I'm blinded by its disgustingness. And um, we decided to track all the plastic bits that were um, coming from the storm drain and landing on the ocean. We decided to pay attention to these plastic bits because most animals such as seagulls, different birds, and um, other marine life, when they see the trash, they don't recognize that it's a piece of trash. One million seabirds die annually because of plastic bags. These bags kill innocent little fishies, and they have oil and petroleum, which leads to global warming, and we don't want that. We held two marches so to propose the ban on plastic bags in the city of Santa Monica. I'm never going to forget the day we actually went down to City Hall when they banned plastic. Just for the convenience, we produce something for just a few minutes of use, but it lasts many lifetimes. We were there till 1 a.m. and they finally said that they would ban plastic. They're the first city to actually put a ban on plastic and then put a tax on paper bags. Good evening. I'm the, uh, I'm the Santa Monica Plastic Bag Monster. I'm doing what I do best. I emit excess greenhouse gases, I litter the streets, I find my way into storm drains, and then I pollute the ocean, which therefore kills animals. Well, I'm just kind of wondering, it must, it must be kind of tough for a fellow like you to get a date. If you want to talk to it's well. The reusable bags get all the hot dates. I myself, as a teenager, using reusable bags at a grocery store, I get looked at a lot because I'm a teenager, you know? I mean, teenagers don't really use reusable bags, you know, they don't, it's not cool. But I mean, I think it's cool and definitely uh, everyone can do it. We just need to take the initiative and we need to move a lot farther than we are right now. It's more, I feel, an ethical problem than an environmental problem because we all have the power to change, reduce our carbon footprint. If I could use a reusable bag and seriously take plastic bags out of my life, I'm sure anyone else can. It's really, it's just an easy step that everyone can do. And I'm sure if the county of Los Angeles can ban plastic bags, the whole nation can. This is a collective impact. It will have so much benefits for the world as a whole. Reduce, reuse, recycle, refuse, and rethink.